What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad and on this episode, we are in the hill country again. Oh! <laughs> This trip just gets better and better. So we decided to uh, make a little trip out here just for fun. Um, it's Christmas break. I have work off, so perfect time to go out and go camping. And uh, we came out here to a beautiful hill country. We're at Pace Bend again. Uh, it's one of our favorite places to go. So we arrived last night. Uh, last night I didn't really film anything. We got Jake and Isaac in the wilderness. And then I got over here the camper from the pickup. And uh, I haven't showed you guys this. If you follow my Instagram then you might have seen it. But um, I picked up this really cheap, cheap trailer and I painted it. And I put some tires and rims. And I put the camper on it. Call it base camp and it's perfect because I can haul it with my Xterra or the Land Cruiser and I brought my whole family with me so it's perfect perfect setup sadly it's not gonna go back on the pickup um, after the solid axle swap it's just not appropriate to put it back on um, but that means that the camera's gonna get used a lot more because now I have I'm able to use uh, the Xterra or the Land Cruiser to pull it and not necessarily the pickup which I can't take my whole family in the pickup <laughs> anyways we also got John over here he's still asleep I'm getting prepared because I think tonight we're gonna go camp out uh, an hour west from here we're gonna meet some friends and I think it's gonna be in the 30s it's gonna hit all the way into the 30s which I'm a little <laughs> uh, worried because I got my family with me but Adventure guy. Come on. What? Get up. You don't need your guide? Hmm? Huh? Our tour guide? Yeah. Come on. Get up. We got my specialty here. Some migas. Which is a uh, tortilla. And then some uh, egg. And I add, I add some sausage. Well, like wieners. And then cheese. And if I had refried beans, I would add some, but I don't have any right now. Um, this is for the kids and this is for us. As you know, I have a four wheel camper. This is a 1981 uh, Bronco model. And um, I've taken this camper on, on a few trips uh, before, not so many, but because um, it was on the pickup, I wouldn't drive the pickup too far or many trips, but now it's on the trailer, makes it a lot easier. So anyways, uh, it's me, my wife, and our two kids, two-year-old and a four-year-old, and uh, we were able to sleep right over here on our bed. It's a mess right now, guys, so this is really how it looks like when you have a family with you, with two toddlers. Um, I redid all this recently, so it's nice to put it to use. It's uh, they're cubbies that go to the outside. Got our sink. This stuff I really don't use, but um, it kept us warm. Last night, um, it was in the mid to low 40s, and um, we're all cold. And in here it was actually like pretty uh, pretty good, but it was still cold. So Sleepy Mags did the job pretty well. Got a beautiful view right now. Made breakfast. I know Ezra wants to go fishing, so I need to clean up my mess outside and clean up in here a little bit. Wife doesn't do the clean the dishes. Well, let's go fishing. Yo, 
Yeah, like I said earlier, we're gonna go to another park a little later, meet up with some friends, and we're gonna spend there the, the Saturday, the next day there, all day, and then Sunday we'll take off, go back home. Because on Monday we already have work, and uh, Christmas break is done. Sorry. It's like kind of windy right now. Um, if you're in the shade, it's kind of cold, but in the sun, it's nice, perfect. The water looks really cold. Uh, there's no fish at all for fishing. It's kind of dead. Um, but yeah, we're just chill out, chilling here. <clears throat> Wind's uh, picking up, so we're all kind of, the guys are on the truck, my wife and the kids are in the camp right now, just because it's super windy. Someone just took a dump. Ezra has a little toilet in the, <laughs> in the camper. Ezra, let me know. Jake, what's going on? We got some gourmet cooking. Dang. Chef John. Dude, he caught this today. Fresh, I know, I from saw that. Ever. It's so majestic. Fresh from Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I think John used to work at a gas station. He would make sushi, right? Yeah. At yeah, he's gonna roll station. this up. John knows what's up. He's a pro. Man. Look, we got the famous. Three points of salt. Three point ghost salt. Ooh. My mom made this especially for us. You're actually gonna use it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were using oh, it on the eggs earlier. They were great on the oh, eggs. Oh really? Yeah. Just enough kick. Dang. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we got going on here. John and Jake season the, the salmon. About to get it all nice and crispy. Mm. So you're not supposed to season the other side? Yeah, but you do it as it's cooking. Oh, okay, okay. Take your word for it, never done this before. <clears throat> so this one was the one Jake put the garlic on? Yeah, I have garlic on. Yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah, a little, little, garlic, bit of, little bit of garlic salt. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm gonna trust y'all's uh, judgment on seasoning. Never tried it. Worst comes to worst, we could always just add a little more ghost pepper salt. Garlic salt, AKA dandruff. The three ghost yes, salt. Three different chilies. Dang. I think it's Himalayan or sea salt. I think it's Himalayan pink salt. Uh, I think I just found my new favorite seasoning. to the fish is just Not at a burning. six for a good six minutes. Sit for six? Yeah, five, six minutes. Don't touch it. Ah! Let it do its thing. Don't even, it burn. Don't even look at it. Super simple. Tonight. I'm not fancy like the guys over there with their salmon and that's usually what they, what they don't do, you know, but whatever. You mean Jake? Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's good? No, I doubt that. Mm, that's really good. 
Goodness. I'm doing camera work here. Come on. All right. Okay. Oof. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Good stuff right there. John, go ahead. Oh, I know. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Don't make fun of my hot dogs. Come on. Good morning, everybody. It's the next uh, morning. I got Said over here, John, and we're camping at a campground. I'm not gonna name because it's kind of a, a hidden gem uh, in the hill country. I'm not gonna say where it's at, but maybe you guys can find it. Get rid of my tags on, uh, <laughs> on <Instagram. laughs> That doesn't matter. That's just my own opinion. Because it is kind of like a hidden, hidden gem. Um, last night it was no, cold. You want to see the video? Like, wow, thanks for the support. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this publicity. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dang, we haven't been busy since y'all left. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna go fishing. we're gonna go fishing in a bit, okay? Last night got cold. John, what happened? Got cold. What happened, John? Couldn't sleep. Got up at five in the morning. I've been here ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Must have dipped like in the like low 30s or something definitely below freezing um we slept pretty good in the camper um my feet were a little cold my sleeping bag's kind of old it's not really rated for super cold but it worked like usual gotta have my coffee and we're just gonna chill here for a bit a lot of the texas overland people are here And yeah, gonna be here for a bit. We might go into Love town, you. might leave the trailer here and then go into town for a bit. Take the wife and kids, go and check, out, check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh right, yeah. Morning, morning. Stay nice and warm last night? Hot as hell in there. Yes. <laughs> well, no luck with the fish. <clears throat> right, John? Dead. Dead. John's just kind of uh, playing with us because he's He's pretending he's gonna get in the water, but I doubt he's gonna get in the water. It's super cold. He said he wants to take a shower. I mean, the man's always dirty. Why even shower? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Man, yeah! <laughs> so this biodegradable soap John you want it? Yeah. Alright. Hmm? Oh yeah. Get those shaved things. For my puppy, Isaac. Poppy, uh oh, she gonna kill me, dude. How's it feel? My legs are getting numb, but it's good. Hey, where's Chris? Now we know who the cool brother is. Just like John. Did, you didn't tell me you were going. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> How's that feel? It is 12:04, and um, after John and Jay got in the water, I decided to get in the water. It was so refreshing. It was so cold. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in the water that cold, but it was totally worth it because I took a shower. Now. Cleaned up the camper. It's so nice right now. 
it's just the right weather, but it's gonna get cold tonight again. Uh, as of right now, just eating, kind of cleaning up the camper a bit. There's always a mess. I mean, there's four people in here. So what I do is I just put all the sleeping bags and clothes and all that stuff with the bags, just put them on top. Kind of clear up the area so we have some living area here, especially for the kids. Keeping kids entertained is kind of hard. My son, not so much, but uh, my daughter, definitely hard for her to kind of keep her not to wander off. So camper's a good spot. They can come in and just kind of play around and whatnot. Probably gonna go and drive to Fredericksburg in a bit. Leave the camper here and go and have some, uh, have fun over there. Maybe go and have lunch. Just walk around and then come back. Let's take a tour of our camp. Really love this setup. This is the coolest trailer. Love to have something like that. So nice. Four wheel camper, more of a newer model than our 1981 model over there. Still keeping it kind of the same. Hey guys. Hot dogs, fries, like always, keeping it simple. Yeah, basic as. 
Oh. Got the ramen. Gotta tie this stir fry one. Gotta try it out. Okay, Tim, tell the YouTube YouTubers what is what's going on here. Uh, we've got some brownies baked mm. in the Dutch oven. Nice. I will take still warm. I'll take a small, well, not a small piece actually. That's a big piece. Uh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I want to take this little piece right here, Very so everyone can get a nice piece. and soft, chewy brown. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Before finishing this episode, I want to thank our Patreon gang, Pablo, Milton, aka my dad, Billy Valley from Valley Computer Services in Edinburgh, Texas, Manny C, and Rag Z. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thanks to the Patreon gang, they're helping me pay the bill to the music subscription website that I use for all my videos. A lot of work goes behind the scenes, and any little help like that counts. If you want to become part of the Patreon gang, just join us at patreon.com slash overlandnomad and you get some awesome benefits like weekly live videos with me and the gang, ask us anything, a shout out like this at the end of every episode, and more with just as little as $3. I also want to thank you the viewer for watching our videos. That is a huge help already, so thank you. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a great one and get out there.